As 2013 draws to a close, let's take a look back. What were the biggest, coolest, and most important space stories of the year? I'm Sophie, and welcome to The Countdown. When a mustachioed Canadian astronaut left Earth for the International Space Station last year, he took off virally as well. Millions of people watched Commander Chris Hadfield as he demonstrated how to make a sandwich, brush his teeth, and even cry in space. But Hadfield had his greatest hit when he starred in the first music video ever recorded in space, singing a revised version of David Bowie's Space Oddity. This is ground control to Major Tom. Since returning to Earth in May, Hadfield has posted videos and gone on tour to publicize his new book, An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth. His next adventure will be a stint as a professor at the University of Waterloo, but we'll always have the video and the stellar cover of McLean's magazine, where Hadfield is made up as David Bowie. On November 28th, Comet Ison had a close encounter with the Sun. And after the flyby, it was hard to tell if the comet had survived. Cameras caught a bright streak of material flying away, which at first looked like a sign of life. But after further observation, NASA announced the comet had broken up and evaporated. R.I.P. Ison. However, the comet's legacy will live on. Before Ison's destruction, instruments on the ground and up in space gathered a huge set of observations. This will give researchers a lot to study. Because Ison formed at about the same time as our planets, and had never been exposed to the sun, it was a pristine remnant of the early solar system, which means the makeup of the comet can teach scientists how the solar system formed. This year, the Kepler spacecraft hit a speed bump. Kepler used a set of four flywheels to stabilize its telescope and focus on a target. When one wheel broke in 2012, the telescope could still function, but when a second wheel failed in May, Kepler had to retire from the planet hunting game. However, there are more discoveries in the pipeline. Kepler has gathered a lot of data that has yet to be studied, and the spacecraft may be getting a second lease on life. NASA plans to adapt Kepler to study other space objects, which could include near-Earth asteroids, large exoplanets, or the evolution of large stars. In February, a fireball blazed over Chelyabinsk, Russia, blowing out windows, damaging 3,500 buildings, and injuring about 1,500 people. A meteor had exploded in the atmosphere. Although it was only about 19 meters wide, the meteor's explosion released as much energy as 500 kilotons of TNT. Scientists have studied the impact through video footage and eyewitness accounts. In November, they published three papers about the meteor's orbit before it hit Earth, its trajectory once it entered the atmosphere, and the details of its destruction. This meteor has also reminded us to keep an eye out for asteroids. Although some telescopes do look for near-Earth objects, they often fail to detect small rocks like the one that hit Chelyabinsk. New instruments to detect asteroid threats are currently being developed. In 2012, scientists suggested the Voyager 1 spacecraft had finally entered interstellar space, but their conclusion was eventually rejected. It wasn't until September of this year that NASA announced Voyager has officially reached interstellar space. To boldly go where no probe has gone before. Although Voyager has traveled farther than any man-made object, it still hasn't left the solar system. To do that, it would have to move beyond the influence of the sun's gravity, which would take about 30,000 years. But it will continue to gather data about an unknown, unexplored region of space. I'm Sophie Bushwick, and that's your countdown. If you like our show, visit the Space Lab channel on YouTube or follow us on Twitter at SA underscore Space Lab. And have a stellar new year. I know it's terrible.